Guys, we are at SHOT Show 2024 Range Day. We are with Silencer Central, and I have Zach here, and he is going to walk us through the brand new Silencer Central Speed K Suppressor. Now, if you're looking at this thing, it is short and it is fat. It is exactly what you want to see for an AR suppressor. So, Zach, tell us about this thing. So, the Speed K is 3D printed ink and L, which means there's going to be no barrel length restrictions, no firing schedule restrictions with this suppressor. The idea on like this 10 and a half inch is we still want it at under 140 decibels at the ear, which this accomplishes, and also keep the back pressure down. So, you're only going to see a 5% increase in peak back pressure. Wow. So, during higher firing schedule. Wow. So you're going to get very low, if not no low blowback. Still going to be under 140 at the ear out of only a four inch suppressor. Keeps it nice and compact. Yeah, that's crazy. So basically the way you're able to get that much uh, noise reduction is by making this, the more volume by making the suppressor wider. Correct, yep. And the feedback was, um, especially from law enforcement, we wanted a shorter suppressor. We could get the same performance out of an inch longer suppressor that was smaller diameter, yep. but keep it short, increase that volume a little bit by making yep. it bigger around. Weight balance on it's phenomenal, even on a longer 16 inch AR. Yep. Um, still not going to feel front heavy. Doesn't have any issues, even with that diameter, as far as lights, lasers, any of that stuff goes. That's awesome. Yep. So let's talk about ink and ale for a second that people don't know. This is mm -hmm. one of the toughest things that you can make a suppressor out of. It's really good. In fact, a lot of the original blast baffles in suppressors used ink yep. and ale to take the initial yep. like yep. pressure and stuff so they didn't wear the rest of the suppressor out. But this yep. entire suppressor is made out of ink and ale. Yep, 3D printed ink and ale, 100%. Okay, so um, Inconel has a tendency to be a little heavier than titanium. So yeah. what are we coming at weight-wise on this? So the suppressor itself, and it's got an industry standard hub mount in the back, the 1.375. So it does give you some different mounting options. Um, so we won't include the mount for the sake of the weight. You're sure. at 14.1 ounces. Okay. So if you're gonna direct thread, We've got a direct thread mount in here that's an ounce. So right now we're at 15.1. Figure if you're running a QD adapter, muzzle device in there, you're gonna add a little bit more weight from that. So talk to us. So for people that are watching this, one of the, look, let me tell you guys, if you don't know who Silencer Central is, you need to get on Guns America and read some of the articles we've written. I've actually purchased suppressors from Silencer Central and they have the easiest process for doing your Form 4, getting your truss set up. I mean, you have never seen anything better, and then it shows up at your doorstep when your tax stamp is done. I mean, when it's ready, your suppressor ships to your door, you don't have to go anywhere. So I can vouch for the fact that it's the easiest. I'm an attorney, I've written trusts, and their trust is good. I mean, it's the whole system is just dumbfoundingly easy, which is why they're becoming so popular. But it's also because of these sort of innovative suppressors. So yeah. Yeah, so um, I know you guys sort of designed this for law enforcement, yep. but who who else? I mean, are you selling this to regular yeah, folks? Yeah, this is available for anybody. So okay. um, the guys that have more of that tactical AR setup that want to keep the back pressure down, um, especially if they've got something SBR or shorter barrel that they want to keep nice and compact, this is perfect. Um, even with the ink and out at 15 ounces, that's not bad weight there. No. Probably have a titanium version in the future for guys not running super heavy use, just want something a little bit lighter. But I mean, this can's phenomenal for, for any gas gun. Okay. Now, I just want to, I don't want to get too deep in the weeds here, but to, let's talk about the universal mounting system you talked about. Yep. So explain to folks how they, um, how they could use that. If they're not familiar with yep. that, like just break that down for them. Yep, so right now we've got a direct thread mount on here. So that's threaded straight to the barrel. That's gonna keep it the most compact. Yep. We really only add an eighth of an inch to the suppressor um, by mounting that. So when that's threaded on, you're really only adding, you're adding less than four, four inches to the end of your rifle sure. barrel. Um, with the hub mount though, if you've got a Sansco, a Dead Air, a whoever's QD mount you'd like to use in there. So when we say QD mount, guys, we're talking about like, let's say you have a Silencer Co. Um, muzzle brake. Yep, Silencer and That's Co. already ASR. on your gun and you want to be able to use, leave that on your gun. Yep. Literally, you can get an adapter that just Correct. plugs right onto yep. that. So you could take, in this case, a ASR Bravo threaded in here. Now, because of the compactness of this suppressor and the size of the expansion chamber, like a three port brake that's two and a half inches plus long, depending on that company's QD mount, you're gonna have to check with that first if that's gonna fit. A lot of them will, um, but if you go with their shorter compact yep, flash hider or brake, you're gonna have the clearance you need to fit. So okay. if you've got muzzle devices already, or you wanna run it QD, 
Banish makes QD options. There's yep. a whole variety out yep. there that'll run with that. Yep. Okay, one more time, guys. This thing is short. It's relatively light considering that it is like the way it's rated with no barrel restriction. So you can put this on as short a barrel as you want to. Uh, it's a 5.56 five, can. It'd be great for predator hunters if you're out coyote hunting. It's great for cops getting their AR in and out of cars. Great for home defense. Like, you don't want a really long gun if you're having to yep, use it exactly. in a self defense situation. Keeps that weight closer to your body. Uh, we didn't talk about price point yet. Yeah, so right now we got it at $11.99, okay. and that's going to include a mount. So depending on what your mounting option is going to be, that might change a little bit. Um, but with a direct thread mount out of the box, ready to go, $11.99. Okay, so guys, this is the easiest thing to buy. Call up Silencer Central. Their guys are amazing. They'll walk you through the process. Uh, it's, it's the easiest easiest company to buy a suppressor from in the world. Good. Yeah. That's our goal. Okay. Anything else you want to tell them about this, Zach? Uh, we covered all of it, I think. Yeah, I think that's pretty detailed. Now. So let's shoot it. Let them hear it. Uh, you mentioned it's below 140. And this is a, what is this, yep. 11 and a half? This is going to be 10 and a half. 10 yep. and a half inch gun, and it's less than 140 decibels. Yep. So it's even going to yep. be quieter on like a 16 inch rifle. Correct. Yep. Okay. Can we shoot it? Absolutely. All right. Okay, guys, that is the Silencer Central Speed K. Uh, super quiet. Uh, impressed. I don't. I didn't notice any gas in my eyes right here, um, and the gun does not feel out of balance. It's not too crazy heavy at all. So, Zach, appreciate you running us Thank through you that. Guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Make sure you comment. Tell us what you think of this. Uh, I think it's pretty cool, innovative uh, suppressor here from Silencer Central. So, like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.